Developing tonight, the manhunt continues for the person accused of shooting multiple people near a highway in Kentucky. Investigators are still looking for 32 year old Joseph Couch, and that's more than 50 hours after that shooting first started. 10 News anchor Shay Smith joins us with a timeline of what's happened so far in this attempted murder case. Shay. Katie, this began Saturday evening around 530 when deputies responded to an active shooter situation on Interstate 75 in southeastern Kentucky. It's now been two days and authorities are still searching for that suspect. An affidavit says around 5 o'clock on Saturday evening, someone called 911 saying they got a text from Joseph Couch saying he was, quote, going to kill a lot of people. Around 530, Laurel County deputies responded to a call of a shooting on I-75 near exit 49. When they got there, they found four people who had been shot. A fifth person was at St. Joseph London Hospital. The affidavit also says all five victims were shot while traveling southbound on I-75. That same night, investigators found the suspect's vehicle on a Forest Service road. And at 9 p.m., London police announced Joseph A. Couch is a person of interest in the shooting. M. Quinton Williams is a former FBI agent. This is one of those things where it's so important to find this person as soon as possible. And multiple agencies did get involved. So it's just not the Kentucky State Police, it's just not the Sheriff's Office, our federal partners, there are so many people. On Sunday morning, authorities started searching for Couch again around 9.30, and an AR-15 was also found in the woods near the interstate. Around 5 o'clock Sunday evening, the Laurel County Public Affairs deputy released new details on the shooting, saying although the shooting was planned, the victims were not specifically targeted. At 9 p.m., authorities reported the suspect had bought the firearm in London on Saturday legally, and they were searching Couch's home. Monday morning, authorities continued their search for Couch, who is considered armed and dangerous. In this case, it's for certain that he is armed, dangerous because of what he's doing. Now, the city of London's mayor tells NBC News that Couch had served in the Army Reserve and suffered from PTSD. There's a reward up to $15,000 for information about where Couch could be and leading to his arrest. So if you have a tip, Kentucky investigators want to hear from you. Shay, thank you.